What's up, everybody? It's Fred Giles. It's a good day, man. I'm 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 excited about today. It's gonna be a wonderful day. Well, guys, YouTube did it. I think they may have just killed the small channel movement. I'm just saying. We're gonna talk about it. You ready? Let's go. Guys, yeah, YouTube did it this week. They made this huge announcement about some policy changes as it regards to making money on YouTube. And uh, it was a huge, huge thing because there are a lot of YouTubers out there that are smaller YouTubers who are going to be affected by this tremendously. If you don't know, the policy change is now you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of views or watch time in the last uh, year, 12 months. And if you don't have that, um, you can't monetize your videos. While I think it's a good move, I do think that there's some some issues with it. Like I have some friends, um, the Reds, if you don't know who they are, go follow them down in the link. Um, description below, there's a link to their channel. Great channel they have. I know they have over a thousand followers, but they may not have a thousand views because their view, their view counts are not as uh, great as some of the larger channels, but their work and their videos are amazing and I love watching them. The problem is um, YouTube does not appreciate it. So, you know, when you read the policy, they're saying they're trying to get rid of bad actors and, and that's great. And I understand what they're doing to a extent. Um, they they are really, I think right now, they're separating the people who actually want to leverage and use YouTube as a way to make money, um, as a source of income from the people who are just doing it for a hobby. I get that. Um, but, you know, I do think that um, they have to be consciously aware, and I hope YouTube has, has thought this through, consciously aware that some people with smaller channels, they're gonna have to really, really put in a lot, a lot of work now. And that's 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 neither here nor there, but a lot of people start YouTube as a side gig to get to the point to where they can make money. And sometimes that ad revenue when you're building your channel helps you uh, get there. Now, for a lot of YouTubers, and if you're new to YouTube or if you're thinking about coming to YouTube, now you need to, rec oh, there's a train. Um, so if you're new to YouTube or you're thinking about joining YouTube, now you, you really got to put some thought into this because it's going to be a lot of work to get, especially if you want to make this your full-time gig someday. It's going to be a lot of work to get there. Now for me, um, I do want to see my channel grow. I do want to get uh, some, some money out of it one day and I hope that it will provide a source of income. But um, at this point, I love doing videos, and so I just want to make good quality videos, and that's what I'm going to invest my time in now. I know that's going to take some work, that's going to take some time, and what YouTube has done is said, listen guys, if you really want this to be your thing, we're, we're going to, they basically put it all on the table and say, the ball is in your court, you got to put the work in, you got to do it. And um, for us smaller channels now, it's going to be a lot more work to get to where we want to get. Uh, now, was I making money on ad revenue? I mean, look at my subscriber count. First, while we're talking about it, if you haven't subscribed, you probably should go ahead and subscribe. Help me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand now, right? I was really trying to. I was working really hard last year to get to a hundred. Now I got to get to a thousand. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. But if you are wanting to have this thing work, even to begin to monetize your videos, you got to hit a certain point now and. Um, I do commend YouTube on separating the hobbyists from the people who want this to be something that works for them. But I do, I, I was a little, I was a little taken about it because I was just like, hey man, I, I hope I'm not a bad actor or considered a bad actor. And at this point, it's really what the people like. And so, anyways, guys, at this point in my life, I am going to get to make more videos. I'm going to get to invest more into my channel. It's not gonna just be a once a week thing anymore. Um, I just had a lot of big changes in my life recently and I'm so excited and I hope, I hope 
you will consider clicking that subscribe button and clicking that bell so you know when I put a video out and you will uh, help this channel out because listen I'm trying to grow it so now I gotta get to 1,000 subscribers so let's get there okay, if we can get there I'll do a huge giveaway I got some videos coming out about vlogging uh, what camera you should use all that kind of stuff I got some videos coming out if you are uh, into church technology I got some videos coming out about that that will really help you and if you are a potential church planter and you've been watching my videos or you want to start a church someday got a lot of videos coming out about that my videos coming out are really going to be um, some great videos and I hope you'll enjoy them but let if you are a small youtuber I'm there with you let's put this work in um, let's do some collaborations let's get out there and make it happen at the end of the day, what YouTube is asking now is that we put in work. And so, we got to do it. If we want to see a successful channel, if we want to see successful subscriber rate, if we want to see successful view rate, and really someday um, YouTube be a source of income, um, we got to put in that work. So, yeah. Uh, so, did they kill the small channel movement? Uh, depends on the small channel. Did they make it harder for small channels? Yeah, you gotta put in some work now. Chances are now, if you're just starting YouTube as a hobby, chances are, if you're not really gonna put in work, it's not gonna ever be a source of income for you. Um, now you can leverage it for your business. You may not ever get a thousand subscribers, but you can use it for portfolios, all that kind of stuff. But, and, and it'll make income that way. But if you want YouTube itself to be a source, monetization on, on ads and videos and all that kind of stuff um, if it's just a hobby it's probably not gonna happen and that's just the honest truth with with these new policies so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that is a little bit more clear for you uh, listen guys it is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of view time for your channel so even if you have 1,000 subscribers you still have to accomplish 4,000 hours of view time to monetize your video. They put stipulations pretty much on every every channel. Every channel has to have 4,000 hours of views. And so we all got something to work towards. Uh, smaller channels have to work a little bit harder than these larger channels. But guys, if you uh, put your mind to it, as they would say, nah, I'm not even gonna say. If you put the work in, it'll, it'll happen for you, I promise you, and you'll enjoy and reap the benefits of being successful on YouTube. So hopefully this video has helped. Again, do me a favor, click that subscribe button if you're not a part of the fam. And I hope to see you on the next video. All right, fam, let's go. Peace. Oh, by the way, if you were wondering why I was showing stuff of cleaning, um, I'm, I started a church in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm a church planter. And I always like to show people behind the scenes because a lot of people don't get to see the part like they see the speaking, but they don't see the, the ugly parts. The parts where you're sweeping and cleaning, where you're having phone conversations with people going through tough times or all that stuff. We see the glamour, but we don't see uh, the other stuff that, that, that we gotta work towards. So I want to show you a little bit of that. That's why I was cleaning. I got a video coming out uh, later in the week about this for church planters if you are considering church planting or if you know somebody who was uh, going to church plant and I hope you will share this video but uh anyways guys listen if you're not into church stuff I, I'm not gonna flood you my videos with all church stuff I promise you so um stick with me fam all right peace out holler at your boy